Hey everybody, this is Nick Mayhew, three-time gold medalist and three-time world record holder, and you're listening to Power 98.5. We don't play the social game. We are social. Power 98.5. You're listening to Power 98.5, powered by United Angels Dream, your number one resource for public relations, entertainment, and multimedia. Contact them today at unitedangelsdream.com. Hi, this is Dan Aykroyd. He's progressive. He's beautiful. He's thoughtful. He's intelligent. He's powerful. He's positive. He is Stephen Cuoco on Power 98.5 Satellite Radio. Empowering listeners from the U.S. to the U.K. Live on air with Stephen Cuoco. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. We are live on air with Stephen Cuoco on Power 98.5 Satellite Radio. Uh, wow. Sunny, triple degree weather. I believe, what, 108 it's going to be here in Las Vegas. I'm um, looking forward to be heading on out to L.A. Got a major photo shoot to do for media placements coming up. A lot going on. We've got also today good friend, ally, Blaze French. You all know, you heard the intro that we all posted on social media today on Power 98.5 Satellite Radio Instagram page, LinkedIn, everywhere else. But we're going to re-highlight here. So not only an NBA agent, Blaze French is an actor, model, influencer, and an extraordinary marketing manager for Body Armor Sports Drink. With over 2 million followers on Instagram, Blaze has a proven track record for success campaigns with brands such as Milk Bar, Target, Banana Republic, True Religion, Cross Jump Rope, and many others. Without further ado, we've got Blaze in the house. Power 98.5 Satellite Radio. Welcome, Blaze. There, my friend. There you are. Can you hear us? Uh, now you should be able to hear us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> no technical difficulties. We just had a moment to bring you back on. So welcome to the stage. Welcome to uh, Power 98.5 Satellite Radio. How's your day going? Man, amazing, man. I'm, I'm with you right now, man, about to do this. So, you know, they couldn't get any better, man. It's a pleasure to be here. How's the weather out there? You're in LA right now, right? Yeah, it's super hot, man. The weather's weather's nice, man. I, I love it at nighttime. It gets pretty cool too and chill. So, you know, I'm I'm loving it right now, man. <laughs> but you're not getting this. We had we're like what, 113 yesterday? You don't get that out there. <sighs> I don't know if I'll be able to handle that. New York <laughs> is very humid, but that's that's tough. <laughs> yeah, as you know, I'm also a fellow uh east coast from new jersey so yeah without the humidity it works but it gets to a point uh yeah you you kind of want to beat the heat like yourself in la you're looking forward to you know sun going down bring us up to speed what's what's happening uh any great projects film television shows coming up yeah absolutely um well out here in la i'm uh running the marketing for an energy drink company called uptime it's a uh better for you energy drink with natural caffeine from green tea. Um, so after my uh, successful exit at body armor for the last 10 years, um, you know, I moved out to LA here and, um, acting wise, I just finished, uh, this movie called plan B. Um, it's funny. And especially with everything going on with, uh, Roe vs. Wade and, um, yeah, the movie's called plan B, but, um, I worked with, uh, Jamie Lee, she's a award-winning uh, writer um, from Ted Lasso. It was amazing um, experience. I just finished that, and um, yeah, just you know, a lot more traveling, uh, booking more movies. Um, you know, I have a, a lot of partnerships going. That, that's amazing. Um, life's good, man. I, I can't complain at all. When we look into what you're doing for the NBA. What's yes. happening as an agent? What advice can you offer to the listeners and those who will be hearing this? You know, re-aired again on Power 98.5, heading on over at all the podcast channels as well. Um, what's going on in the NBA? 
what is the direction that you're going and the temperature of the sp- where we are at with sports? Yeah, definitely. Um, well, NBA Summer League is coming up um, next week. Um, so that's huge. That's that's where a lot of free agents and, and the draft just happened last week. All the draft picks will be out in Vegas. Um, every agent will be out there. Every general manager, a lot of team owners, all the superstars from LeBron James to Kevin Durant will be out there working out. Um, so Vegas, July 7th um, through the 17th is, is the hot spot uh, for up and coming agents and for seasoned uh, agents and team owners. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited, uh, you know, to to really get that going. Um, you know, my ultimate goal is to own an NBA team. Um, so being an NBA agent is, is kind of, you know, one of the steps in, in, into me making that dream come true. Any clients, any prospects? Yeah, so I, I have some prospects. Um, and, and when I go to Vegas, um, I will be, um, you know, scouting out some guys, some free agents. Uh, but just in my past, um, just working with Body Armor for the last 10 years, I've, I've had the privilege of working with uh, James Harden, Skylar Diggins, um, Mike Trout, um, you name it, uh, you know, our roster over there at Body Armor was amazing. That kind of got me into the NBA agency because, you know, I worked with all these guys and, and I worked with their agents. Um, so it kind of was a, a shoo-in for me to to become an NBA agent. As we discussed before, I believe not only with the NBA, I would love to see you, really love to see you uh, get more involved if you choose to in the Paralympics, the Olympics. Yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? You know, cross-referencing these different areas. Yeah. I'm, I mean, that's kind of what I'm built off off of is cross-referencing. Like, you know, I never just do one thing. Um, you know, I started out doing marketing and, and then I crossed over to sales and I started doing acting. I started doing modeling. So I'm all about, you know, cross-marketing and, and bringing different things to the table. Um, so I am all for... Um, you know, different sports and and, and different Olympic athletes. Um, I think that's an amazing idea. And I'll definitely be sending you your royalty um, when I, when I start signing these other clients and and, and different, um, you know, sports, because you really kind of got me thinking about it and and, and really wanted to uh, go full steam into it. So I thank you for that. You're welcome. And you're, you're larger than life. It goes back to our previous conversation that there's more to you than just what you're doing now. Considering what you're doing now is great. Everything as you know, and from one, you know, East Coast to another, there's always more that you can do. And with you, 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 there's no limitations. You're heading into it. You're in different arenas, but it all makes very sense as a model, as someone that's got a background, high credentials in, in marketing, uh, branding, promotion. Now NBA, considering you're going to be adding other areas of sports to your roster, I believe yes, that sir. this is more than just an empire. This really is a multi-dimensional um, business that you have, and would love to see about you offering media aspects. I, you know, you start doing events. Would love to come on, be a red carpet host, whatever may have you. Uh, but yes. you really have a multi-billion-dollar empire. A- empire. Um, not only now, but also visually, I can see it in the future. Man, I, I really appreciate that, man. Those words are very inspiring to me, man, because that is my dreams. And, and, and you know, I really want to serve people and, 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 you know, help out my community. Because growing up, I grew up in Jamaica, Queens. Um, I honestly only saw basketball and rapping as my two options um to make it out the hood as they say and um you know traveling with basketball going to different places i got a chance to see people doing different things people doing modeling people doing acting um and now influencing is a big thing um so i really want to inspire the kids and show them that there are so many different ways um to make a a career and and to to, you know have a, a fun job you know you know, just working at a, at a desk and doing something that you don't want to do. Um, 
that that that's not like you know you don't have to do that there's so many different ways so i just want to inspire the kids and the people um the same way that i got inspired um to do the things that i'm doing now when you discuss and bring up these points about inspiration what really has been your inspiration and i don't mean by scratching the surface blaze about you know this person did this or i learned that what was the turning point at what age in your life did you realize and understand that you are not your environment you are not just your territory or a geographic location or specifically a model or an actor what age what happened i'll probably say when i was 15 my mother she passed away um and me and my mother were two peas in a pod uh, best friends and um you know when she passed away it, you know i could i had two choices to either you know give up i was depressed wanting to kill myself um or keep going and and i remember vividly one day i went outside you know so depressed and i thought the world was going to stop and I saw everybody continuing moving, you know, New York City, everybody's going fast and Wall Street this and, and this and that. So I was like, wow, I was like, you know, you know, the world keeps going, like no matter what you go through, um, things are going to keep going. So, you know, at that that day, I really decided that, you know, I was going to live for me and for my mom because she sacrificed so much for me to be in these positions and to have this mindset that I do, um, that I wasn't going to let her down, that I was going to you know, lay it all on the line. Like every day I, I, I worked to exhaustion because, you know, she would always say blood, sweat and tears that she puts into me and, and to, you know, and, and to making sure I'm good. So, you know, I try to, to, I try to, you know, pay that back to her. Um, so, you know, that was really the turning point for me. Um, and now, you know, I'm, I'm very uh, a happy guy and, and good spirits all the time. And everyone's always asking me, how are you in such good spirits? Why are you so happy all the time? You know, when like going through, you know, losing my best friend, nothing phases me. So anything throughout my day, nothing really phases me. I'm so calm and cool. And I really love that, you know, about about myself. Um, you know, it could, you know, nothing really like rattles me. Um, and, I, and I try to just preach that to people because, um, you know, some people panic and, and things look bad at times, which it can. But um, you know, just one little switch, one little thing could just change around your day. So um, I just never try to get too down or never try to get too up. If things happen, that's good for me. I don't really brag or, or boast or, or try to. Well, I do have a, a nice team of people that kind of keep me humble, too. Uh, I have a best friend named Franz who whenever I tell him anything, they'll be like, yeah, we just sold for a billion dollars. He's like, that's it. So I, I do have people that keep me accountable and keep me humble um, if things get too high and, and, and things like that. So, yeah. <laughs> you once said, I never sleep. I'm constantly on a move, maneuvering as fast as I can. I'm also good at time management. I have no time to waste. So if it doesn't pertain to business or family, I have no time for it. So what does that mean, Blaze, when we think about relationships, not only personal, however, you know, romantic relationships in the dating life where do you stand with that how does that work for you at the level that you're at right now that's a really good question it's 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 really hard to date in new york city and in california um these big cities um with so much going on um but just in terms of my time i try to um have everything you know included so like you know i'm a sports agent actor model that's all kind of in one pot and I try to do the same thing with my relationships. I try to, you know, be around people that make sense for what I'm doing. So, you know, it's kind of a business meeting or dinner, um, personal meeting. So we we knock it all out at one time instead of, um, you know, having, you know, s talking to somebody that's in a different industry that makes no sense for me, even though they may be a good person. And I'm not saying that I don't would not date a person who's in a different industry that makes no sense, but I just try to tie everything in because I am so short on time um, that I just try to maximize, you know, maximize my time as, as much as possible. But but dating is, you know, super hard. And I am single. Um, so if there's any beautiful women out there, <laughs> <laughs> please hit me up. <laughs> and you're young enough, so don't worry. You're not going to grow too, too old too fast. So we know that there's someone out there for you for sure. 
Oh man, uh, it's that means a lot because you know these days with Instagram and social media and you know the kids are flip flopping. Um, it's it's really good to see couples um, who are in love. Um, you know, I, I just came from Barbados um, not too long ago, and I got a chance to see a lot of couples. Um, and it was really inspiring, man. I love to see love. I love to see people, you know, in a good relationship and not quitting and giving up um, like we tend to do a lot these days. We all know that you refuse to be like anyone else and as yes. admirable as that is. And I feel the same way we roll in the same circle like that. Do you mm -hmm. find it to be very lonely and to be very... Um, Lonely in a good way, but also at the same time, Blaze, do you find it to be lonely in a way of either feeling alienated, abandoned, deserted, or forgotten because it's not as easy to acquire those allies as maybe it once was when we were younger? Man, you're my brother, man. You, we, we speak the same languages. It's crazy <laughs> uh, <laughs> because it's definitely super lonely, especially when you're doing things um that's right for you um so i've had a lot of friends like growing up high school friends um and we've kind of part, parted ways now just because we've went in different directions in life um and you know everybody has their own path and you can't be afraid to live in your path and 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 you know that might not be your friend's path and it might not be your family's path i, I see a lot of uh you know parents who tell their kids i want you to do this i want you to do that and i always feel like the day that you stand up to your parents and tell them no mom no dad this is what i want to do it's kind of the day you start living and um it is going to be super lonely and uh, i've gotten um accustomed to being lonely and i actually enjoy it and being uncomfortable and being lonely because it gives me a sense of i'm doing something right and i'm doing what's right for me if i'm around a lot of people and we're all doing the same thing I kind of feel like I'm doing the wrong thing. So when I'm alone, that's when I usually make my best decisions. I travel to events and to places alone. Um, and I like to meet new people. Like I'm not afraid of change. And, uh, you know, so yeah, yeah I, I like being lonely and, and uncomfortable, something I got used to. You know how difficult, and I'm sure you do, most people are not available, capable, and able to not only comprehend, however, to understand how to live their life independently, being your own ally, and to have that personal space of seclusion. Yep. You you are a million percent right. And, uh, and, and, and I feel like you do need people like that too, because everybody is not built for that life. And you do need people who kind of hang in groups and, and, and group together, which I love that too. You know, if that's kind of for you, then, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm applaud you. Um, but if, if you take the other road and you, you know, go that other route, you know, that, that, that one's a tougher route to take actually to be the lonely, um, guy and, and to, to do things that way. So I, I really applaud you for, for doing that. We know it's about having a plan. You are proof of that it's imperative to have a plan, a greater understanding about what the purpose is, an idea of a direction, even though it doesn't have to be always specific, just have something down on paper, something in your head, even a simple conversation of what are we going to do? Let's have some sort of purpose. So when we think about having tough times, Blaze, what has been the toughest time or moment in your life where you thought to myself or thought to yourself, I never thought I would make it through this. However, I did, and I surprised myself by it. Mm. I would say, you know, with Body Armor, the sports drink company, um, we're out at Queens. I did that for 10 years, and it was my first job out of college. I played basketball my whole life. Um, you know, I hustled and, and, and did things, um, all legal stuff and, and, and stuff like that, like little jobs. But um, that was like my first, you know, real job. And um, there were so many times where I wanted to quit and wanted to do different things. Um, and, and um, you know, just fast forward, you know, we end up selling in November to Coca-Cola uh, for a record $8 billion, which has never happened before. Um, so, you know, and, and, and it's not even the money 
that was the thing for me. It was the experience. It was the the knowledge that I learned. Um, so if I gave up when I did, I, w- I would feel like such an idiot um, just because I wouldn't have got that experience. And, and when you go through those tough times, it makes you so much tougher um, and, 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 and just more confident. So then when you do run across another tough time, it's nothing because you've been through that already and you got through it. So you really build the confidence um, in yourself to, to get the, through those tough times. If someone were to suggest to you, you got to chase the paper, you got to chase the money. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I remember, you know, that was my mindset, you know, when I was a kid and uh, my grandma, she told me, she said, if you chase money, you'll be chasing it everywhere. Like you could go to McDonald's and get a job. You could be working, you know, all over the place chasing money. Um, and then she said, you know, when you live your passion, you know, the money will start chasing you. And, um, you know, that really resonated with me. Um, and I never really do things for money. I, I never, uh, like hourly rate. I never understood that because I don't work, you know, hourly rate. I'm very passionate about the things that I do. Um, like, you know, any drink or beverage that I, that I, you know, endorse, if it doesn't sell, if nobody buys it, I'll buy it myself. So I like to work with products and brands that I genuinely love because if nobody wants to buy it, I'll enjoy it at the end of the day. That's how passion and that's how, um, you know, aligned I like to be with um, the products and the brands and the things that I do. Um, so it's definitely not about, about money at all. How many no's have you heard before you finally heard a yes? Whew. Oh, man. <laughs> How many uh, no's have you heard before you finally heard a yes? I had to ask it again. I almost look for the no's. Like, I almost like to hear no. Um, I've gotten so used to it just in the streets of New York selling, you know, beverages. Everybody says no, 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 no. And um, and, and I've, I've worked well to have encounters and, and being able to negotiate um, cause everybody's going to say no, or, you know, nobody wants to buy anything new or, um, even with females, um, you know, trying to date women, um, and especially in New York city, everything they say is no, like they could, I don't even want to say no means yes, but it's like such a struggle and such a, you got to get through it. Um, that, that I'm, I'm so accustomed to. So over a million no's and I'm expecting, I hope I get, you know, 10 more million no's because, um, that means I'm kind of doing something right too. If I, if, if for me, if I hear that, no, it, it kind of like, it, it motivates me and, and kind of turns me on to, uh, to keep going. Mm. Is, is, uh, Jay-Z still someone you would love to represent or have you found someone new? Oh man. I mean, I, I love Jay-Z man. And, and, and you want to know something funny, Steven, honestly, like, uh, as lately, like, jay-z and a lot of like the peers that i look up to um i i used to want to meet these guys and then uh as of late i i I don't want to um i mean i love them to death i love these guys but like um i mean of course i I do want to meet them of course but just there's a lot of people that are unknown um that kind of could help me more than a jay-z could and uh i love finding unique characters and unique people um, who may not have that name like Jay-Z um, that no one really knows about um, that works for me. Uh, my mom always used to want me to befriend um, like the weird kids and and like the uh, um, just special kids. So they would always be my best friends because um, I would learn a lot. I, you know, in high school, I had a kid named Michael Flynn who had ADD and uh, he had a very unique ability to multiply the craziest numbers you could give him like millions of numbers and he can multiply them and um, people would make fun of him and that became my best friend and uh you know he would help me out with math and i'm really good with math and and, and thank you to him um uh, but I, I love i love the unique characters the ones that people don't know about um and people and, and the ones that people look at weird um and especially if you're not doing what people want you to do like society wants you to do you're going to be targeted as weird um, you know, you're different. Uh, so I, I love working with those kind of people, but shout out to Jay-Z. I love Jay-Z and, and, you know, all those guys um, that I kind of look up to. And where you hit the box of nails blaze through the board with one hammer swing, 
<laughs> people are so conditioned to believe you've got to go immediately. And I was there at one time and it worked, but balance needs to be available as well to go after the big heavy hitters in order to excel and to become famous, established, wealthy, or financially, you know, comfortable, all of that. Is that really necessary from your experience? Can you have a balance by, hey, I'm going to go for the Jay-Z's, I'm going to go for the heavy hitters, I'm going to go for, you know, Dr. Dre's and, and Beats and all of that. But can you also have balance to work with people that are not at an A-list level, that are not being told that they are a superstar? Can you make more of a difference, more specifically, can you make more of a difference and be just as successful, memorable, yet impactful by working with someone that is up and coming or just starting than just thinking to yourself, I need to go after those that have already made it. That is a really good statement question. Um, really good. And it's, and it's making me realize um, things as well. So I, I really appreciate you. Um, my approach is always, I'm, I'm, it's a gym. I'm going to get my approach so, you know, I like to go after the Jay-Z's and, and like Mike Rapoli is a uncle and a mentor and, you know, he's everything to me. Um, I like to go after those big fish and to, you know, be around those guys and learn a little bit. And then I don't just sit there and wait for them to feed me or give me things. So I, I like to learn and, and kind of associate myself with them. But then I go for the up and coming guys and the startup guys, and I and and that kind of helps build me up, um, you know, build up whatever I'm doing. So it is for me, it's important to associate myself with those guys because they do know things and they can open doors for you that no one can. But then when they do open these doors, don't stand next to them. Don't be right next to them, you know, looking and looking at them for something. Go in the room and start meeting people, unique characters, and different people. Um, that you can grow and build with because Jay-Z is already there. He doesn't need you. Him opening the door or even shaking your hand is more than enough you need. Once people see you shook his hand, now you have the room. Now you go and work the room and you go meet these unique characters and these people who have abilities and gifts and are on the way up and, and you partner with them. And, and, and then if you guys have something, then you bring it to Jay-Z like, hey, I got this, this, that, and that. And then they're going to be like, okay, I, I like that. So I like to, you know, fish and, and catch my own fish. Um, so, you know, a lot of times people associate themselves with these big time people and then they just sit there and wait for them. So, you know, you got to move around and, and, and move and shake. Perfectly expressed. And I'm going to honestly say it's not just only perfectly expressed in what you had just said, Blaze. Uh, I could really feel, I do feel the um, how genuine you are and what you believe in your convictions about having purpose and about having purpose not only for yourself, but with the relationships as you're building in any and all business. Yes, I appreciate that, man. You, you're amazing, man. You definitely got me realizing things. I didn't even, you know, think about this stuff, but, you know, <laughs> now that I'm saying it, I'm like, wow. <laughs> It's all about knowing and doing what I do best in public relations, but also, you know, in the media as well. So I look forward to working with you anytime, honestly. Oh, I can't wait, man. We're going to do some amazing things. I can already feel it. Well, I'm going to honestly tell you, uh, you know, I'm here in Vegas. I didn't even pay attention to that upcoming event in July. I would love to attend that, you know, stay on the line. Let's have a, a quick conversation, a recap um, off air. Uh, just to find out any information or what we can possibly do together. Because um, I plan on being here, but like I said, I would like to get out to Los Angeles for that photo shoot with my friend who's going to be helping me out with that, updating my press media photos. Uh, but if I should stay here a little bit longer until you get here, uh, so be it. Uh, we're going to do some... Uh, What's that? No, no, no. I was going to say, yeah, absolutely, because I'll be in Vegas. So let's definitely... Um, you know, connect when we're in Vegas and, and when you come out to LA as well. I would love to, man. We're going to do it. 
We're both, we're both, uh, you're New York, I'm Jersey. We do what we say. Oh, let's get it. Let's get we're it, We're going man. to. <laughs> we're going to do a quick rapid fire. So I want to thank everyone for tuning in. We've got Blaze French, model, actor, NBA agent, uh, you know, I'm going to say uh, future royalty, American royalty, you know, not the UK just doesn't have their own royals. We have our <laughs> royals too. Yes, sir. Quick rapid fire. All right. Hot dogs or hamburgers? Hamburgers all day. Uh, cookout or camping? Cookout. <laughs> all right. Uh, girlfriend or puppy? Definitely girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> Eventually down the road, maybe the puppy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. With the girlfriend. You got to get the girlfriend first and then the puppy comes for sure. <laughs> uh, movie or amusement park? Ooh, that's tough. Because I'm definitely an adrenaline junkie. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Uh, but I'm going to go with movie because I'm a, a movie buff and, and I'm into the movies. So I'm going to go with the movies. Sneakers or sandals? Big time sneaker guy. Big, big, big time sneaker guy. Okay. Uh, laundry once a week or once every two weeks? Once every two weeks, I have the... Um, cleaning lady, you know, she comes and she does my clothes because I I don't really have time or I don't really care to do laundry. It's very hard for me to fold those clothes. So I I, uh, I definitely have a, a good cleaning lady and shout out to her. Well, in case you run into a pinch and you would like to invite me over when I come on out, no BS. I will show you military style way of folding. My dad was in the military and I'm going to tell you, even when it comes from packing, you want to remove all those potential air pockets. So if you want, to te want me to teach you any great folding, I'm going to tell you, you're going to learn a new way because unless your housekeeper is packing for you when you're traveling, you're going to know these tips. I mean, I would love to because I, I definitely would like to, to learn it. So I'm going to take you up on that offer. Uh, mountain climbing or swimming? Big time swimmer. I'll get in the ocean wherever we're at. I'm always the first one to jump off the boat. I'm definitely, but I would love to, to mountain climbing now that I'm on the West Coast. There's a lot of mountains that I definitely want to check out, but I'm a Caribbean guy. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely in that ocean. Okay. <laughs> Beer or a protein shake? Big time protein shake guy. I love uh, smoothies and fresh fruits. Instead of coffee in the morning, I like to have uh, a protein shake or a, a smoothie. Um, so, I, I, yeah, I, I love uh, smoothies and All protein right. shakes. Okay. <laughs> Final question. Are you uh, a daytime person or what I call a kitty cat, an evening person? Damn, that's tough. Because it's different things in the daytime, you know, there's certain people that you meet in the daytime. And then at nighttime, there's certain people I meet at night. Oh, I, and I'm always this guy that says both. Uh, like, you know, people who say, do you want jerk chicken or oxtail? <laughs> and one day I said, I want both. And then that just changed my, my mindset. I always say both. Why can't I have both? You so I'm going to say I'm a daytime and nighttime guy. <laughs> uh Great to have you here live on air with Stephen Cuoco, Power 98.5 Satellite Radio. Blaze, it's been an honor. Man, the pleasure has honestly been all mine, man. This has been amazing. You're an amazing guy. I really appreciate you for having me on here and me reflecting and kind of realizing a lot of things for myself. And I hope the people listening, you know, get inspired or motivated. And please reach out to me because I answer all my DMs and, you know, I'm very personable and I love talking to people. So, man, Steven, you're the man. I can't wait till we link up, man, and really do some things, man. Well, like I said, if I if it's best for me to wait, um, I can wait until you get here. And when will you be arriving? I will get there. The Summer League starts the 7th. So I will be there about the 7th or the 8th that Friday, next Friday. Okay. And how long? Three, four days? I usually should stay in Vegas about three, four days. However, I have some events and I have like a lot of work, so it may be longer, but I'll definitely won't be drinking too much or partying too much because Vegas definitely will burn you out if you don't plan it right. <laughs> oh yeah. And if it's, if that doesn't burn you out, the weather will, who would you yeah. like to give a shout out to? 
Shout out to my grandma, Linda Glover. She is everything for, to me. She taught me how to hustle. Um, you know, she used to work in a number hole and I used to sit right under her seat and see all the hustlers come in and playing their numbers and betting on the horse races. So big shout out to Linda Glover. I love you more than anything. Linda, I love you too. Because <laughs> I'm in, I mean, I felt that I'm like, okay, we've got family here. We're building family. We haven't met each other at those picnics or a wedding, but I'll crash a wedding with you. I'll crash a picnic with you, Blaze. Oh, I want to meet the family. Absolutely. You're in. <laughs> you are in. <laughs> and finally, my friend, where would be the best place to connect you? Is it TikTok, Instagram? I know you're, you're exceptional on Instagram, website, and uh, the best contact form to do all things business or even just to get together with you. Yeah, I would say Instagram. I'm, I'm, I'm heavily on Instagram. My Instagram is Blaze French. Um, but I, I did put my website on my Instagram bio because I spoke to my genius friend, Steven, and he told me, mm. make sure you have your website in your bio. So I updated that. So you can check out my website, blazefrench.com. Um, and I'm answering all messages. I, I love people. So please reach out to me. Awesome. Thank you again. It's been a great day. Stay on the line, Blaze. We're going to close yes, out. I'm going to be with you in about a couple seconds. Anything else you want to close with? No, I just want to say, man, you're amazing. It is a pleasure to, to be on here with you. Um, the radio station is doing something right having you on here. And um, I definitely would love to hear more. And, and I can't wait till you have your TV show. That's, that's, that's what I'm waiting for. Me too. <laughs> and you know I own this radio station, right? Oh, the freaking man. Okay. I'm glad we got that cleared. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yes. I love it. On record, I'm the first and only public relations representative in the world with my agency, United Angels Dream, to have launched a satellite radio station. As you all know, you're listening. Power 98.5 Satellite Radio. You can download the app. Yes, this is a satellite station based out of Manchester, UK and New York. Looking for a live spot. I was going to open one here in Las Vegas, but I don't know if I'm going to do Nashville or what. We're going to leave that in God's hands. We're going to find out where else of a live location we're going to have Power 98.5 Satellite Radio. So once again, Satellite Station, independently owned by a public relations representative, Stephen Cuoco here. My public relations firm, United Angels Dream, unitedangelsdream.com. You can go to power98.5 at power985.com. Drop us some tips. We have uh, live messaging there as well. Just click the bottom right-hand tick. Send us any information over to my team of your thoughts, uh, any suggestions, how you feel about today's interview with NBA agent, actor, model, Blaze French. Uh, we've got upcoming guests. We're just solidifying, as you know, with summertime. So we're just pinpointing down specific dates and times for future guests. I know that we've got coming up, uh, we've got Kamari Bonds. He is from the Netflix uh, unscripted reality TV show, 20-something. Uh, we're looking to get him on Thursday, July 7th. Just pay attention uh, to what we're doing and what we're showing and uh, getting on the Power 98.5 website, Instagram, even mine. You can go over to Instagram uh, at Stephen Cuoco, C-U-O-C-O, -O, first name with a V. Blaze. Oh my God. I bet you're ready for another protein shake or you just so darn energized you don't need one. <laughs> man, I could, I could drink those protein shakes all day, man. But you are the man, yo. Truly. Thank you. We're going to recap this interview tomorrow. So we are looking at, today is Wednesday. Tune in, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. All things Blaze French, 2 p.m. Eastern Time on Power 98.5. Remember, download the app available on Android and uh, Apple. You can go ahead and tune in live on Alexa by adding the Power 98.5 satellite radio station into the Alexa skill. You can listen to it throughout your entire home. You can listen to it in your car. We're also streaming live on StreamIt or Streama. Uh, live radio FM, one of my favorites, uh, my tuner. Um, we're all over the place, uh, 200 countries and counting. So 
So all things and more power 98.5 satellite radio live on air with Stephen Cuoco. And don't forget, we've got other shows, Catherine and company. Let me tell you what lady T and resilient you with Alicia Pazzoni. Check out the schedule on power 98.5 satellite radios, webpage power 985.com for all our other guests, hosts, we're going big and going strong. We love you and we would like for you to be part of our family. So connect with us today and have a great holiday weekend.